Hello, Otokano here. How are you today? Once again, I am painting from one of Carly Holman's classes. Just like in the sunflower painting video I did, as this is from a paid course, I will not be able to go into the details of the techniques that are used from the class. However, I will leave a link to this particular class down in the description below. I've also changed the layout a lot and some of the processes, so if you'd like to see the original, I highly recommend checking out her course. I am not sponsored by her or the Artist Network, I am just an artist thoroughly enjoying the gun ho let's see what happens kind of processes that she teaches. So onto the painting, I have been putting this piece off for quite a while. I saw the lesson a couple months ago and totally fell in love with the colours and the process. However, this way of painting in watercolour was so far from how I normally paint that I just froze up. All the colours were new to me, all the mixed media stuff were new to me, all the techniques were new to me. I mean, when I first saw this lesson, I had never even done an underpainting in my life. So I had to work towards doing this class very slowly. First, I had to get all the colours, that's when you got to see my Carling Holman palette video. Then I had to get all the extra materials like special gauze I had to import from America, special glue, magic erasers, tissue paper and baking sheets. Yes, baking sheets. It took me a few weeks to gather everything up. However, even when I had all the materials, I was still scared of doing this painting. I should mention at this point that this particular lesson I am painting from is lesson 10 of 10 from her course. I did the bad thing I always do and jumped straight to the end of the course and expected myself to be able to do it straight away. Does anyone else do that? You'd watch the first couple lessons, not try any of them, then you skip ahead to the end of the course to see what you will get from doing the course. You fall in love with the final piece, and so you ignore the nine other lessons and make yourself try the lesson 10 first. Then you find out you have no idea what you're doing, and you're frozen in fear because you skipped the other nine lessons where she showed you how to do each thing. <sighs> So it was time for me to go back to the beginning and do the classes. I have to admit, I didn't do all the classes, but I felt so much more at ease by the time I sat down to paint this piece. I was familiar with her colours and the way she likes to mix them. I knew what colours I'd like and where to just pick my own colours. I've had a few practice at the gauze thing and how to fade colours in and out with good control. Only after putting the time in to learn each thing was I ready to put them all together and tackle the big painting. I don't know about you, but I've certainly been here many, many times before. Whenever I look at a masterpiece, I automatically start comparing myself to their work. I egg myself to paint a masterpiece like them, entirely forgetting that they have gone through a very long sequence of their own personal lessons that I have just begun. I put my pressure on myself to create masterpieces when I haven't familiarised myself with the medium, the colours or the techniques. I expect myself to jump off from the highest diving board when I've just dipped my toes into the pool for the first time. No wonder fear takes over. This painting has taught me that learning the basics isn't boring. It's the thing that's going to let you really enjoy yourself when it's time to paint the big piece the thing that is going to remove the fear from your creative journey. Taking many teeny weeny steps instead of one big leap is going to result in a much more enjoyable creative experience overall, as this painting has been for me. If you have any tips on breaking through the fear of painting, please share them in the comments below. Thank you so much for watching, please like, comment and subscribe and I will see you in the next video.